Boxing Live here. DJ Boxing Live here. DJ Boxing Live here with Derek Chisora's trainer, Mr. Don Charles. Mr. Don Charles, how you been, man? I'm very well, Errol. How yeah? are you? I'm all right, I'm all right. The, the press conference didn't really pick off what people thought. Ex extra security. Why do you think that was um, in terms of like, um, sample? Because it, is it familiar with each other or they said it what they said on social media? It could be a number of things, you know. I'm not Derek Chisora, no, I'm I didn't white. So people were expecting fireworks. They were. And, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, they were disappointed. Yeah, they and were. I'm glad, you know. Listen, we've come here to get a press conference. Done. Leave the fight into the ring. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. The It'd fight, be... the fight, I believe, is already sold. It's, it's captured a lot of people's imagination. Yeah. yeah. So the fight, as far as I'm concerned, is already sold. Mm. Um, there's no need for any more madness. You know, people don't really like to see that. I don't believe. No, that. you're right. In you a know? nice, classy place like this, maybe try and keep it civil, respectful, and stuff like that. I think it was fa fairly quiet. So obviously, with Ian Lewis um, didn't really work out. That obviously un unfortunate. So um, and now he's got one of your guys as well. What is Derek going to do differently? from Ian Lewis in this fight? I said earlier on on the table, uh, Derek's a diff different proposition because he fights differently to Ian Lewis. And Derek brings pressure. Mm. Ian likes to be more selective with his punches. They're yeah. totally different styles. Yeah. Um, the style Ian boxed suited Dylan because there was no pressure coming at Dylan. Yeah. So he was able to pick his punches when he wanted it. He, mm. yeah, he controlled the, the pace, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, unfortunately. Um, but my guy hung in there and was putting shots on him, you know, throughout. Yeah. So the minute I'm the one who decided to pull him out, mm. he wanted to fight on. Fighters will always want to fight on. Yeah. 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 No, we'll take a, you know, withdraw, not because, it, you know, I, did, I believe I did the sensible thing. The yeah. guy had a broken nose, yeah. he couldn't breathe properly. Yeah. So what's the point of, of letting him do the, the, the whole the whole 12 rounds? There's no point at that point. Well, as I was saying, that, when you mentioned 12 rounds as well, um, obviously Derek done 12 rounds with numerous, obviously, Vitaly Klitschko and um, another notable good names, um, uh, Hellenius and stuff like yeah. that. Obviously, the experience coming into this fight, is, uh, by the way, is this fight for the British title? I'm afraid so, yeah. It's so, so it's a 12, definitely a 12, definitely round, 12 round So ex experience is going to be key in this in terms of um, levels and stuff like that. And pull if, if as well, 12 if, rounds. If we have to go 12 rounds, yes. Oh, you look I at the I don't believe the fight will go 12 rounds. Either way, obviously yeah. I'm favouring us to win yeah. by, by KO. Mm. Um, I don't believe this fight is going 12 rounds. Well, what's your prediction? In, what's your prediction in terms of rounds? Or, or um, uh, six? Four, we concluded inside inside the distance. Inside the but, distance. That's yes. alright. <laughs> that's alright. So you guys are looking to stop him, obviously. Um, that's the objective. Mm. If you ask Dylan White, that's his objective. So that's what's going to make it a good fight. Yeah. It's rumours. It was obviously rumours um, about in the sparring. Obviously they've sparred, and obviously Derek um, brought up the sparring that um, obviously um, um, Derek had the battle of Dylan in sparring. Do you think has, has, has Dylan improved tremendously since the sparring? Or Dylan's, I, I, listen, uh, Dylan's improved immensely. He's the, listen, let me remind you, Dylan White is the current British, British champion. champion yeah. So you have to respect that. Mm. We are the challengers. You know? mm. We're not the champions right mm -hmm. now. We mm. are the challengers. So we've, ap we've approached and we will be approaching this fight as the challenger. Mm. We're not the champions. We can't just walk in like swag and then no, we are the challengers. We are hungry. Derek is hungry. Yeah. He wants that. He wants. This is his. He won. Derek won this belt in his tenth. Sorry, in his twelfth against Dali Williams. Fight. Yeah, in his twelfth professional fight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me remind the, the public. Yeah. Dylan has won it. Twentieth fight. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Derek won in his twelfth professional fight. Hmm. Yeah, and Derek went on to do great, great things. Yeah. Yeah. But unfortunately, we find ourselves in this position, challenging for the British title again, mm. right? Mm -hmm. And he wants to win that belt again. Mm -hmm. Well, and then another thing goes, you guys are back together again. Yeah. And obviously, um, you know, you've been together for some months working it, so you're looking for this big fight. And it looks like, um, well, it looks like, you know, it's going to be the ultra zero in terms of against Vitaly, that sort of Derek, that, on the, that you know, on his best, when he's just basically walking through yeah. Vitaly's with a punch, that sort of, is that Derek we're going to expect? I hope so. That's how we train. That's how we've always trained. Yeah. Yeah. It's up to the fighter to go in the ring and implement the game plan as close as possible as what he's rehearsed. Mm. And I believe mentally I'm working with the. the oh, yeah. Okay. So we continue again. Sorry about that, guys. Um. So you're saying obviously in the Vitali fight, um, if that Derek Harris turns up, obviously it will be very good for the fans as well. He'll bring an all-action fight, and that sort of Derek zero zero will give Dillian a lot of trouble. Even. I'm afraid so. Listen, Derek is a pressure fighter. Everybody. It's well documented, and um, that Derek has to turn up against Dylan White. Mm. I'm afraid mm. that's a, that's the version. Myself as a coach, that's what has been drilled as. Come there, 
hot, pre- pure hot cold mm. pressure on him. And uh, you know, when Derek's on that sort of form, he's on fire today. Absolutely. Another thing as well, real quickly as well, we have um, Frank Bellioni. Obviously, he's back from the injury. Um, how's he looking in training? And um, another prediction for that, because you got two, obviously you have two fighters on the card. How do you think that fight's going to go? Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm not going to stand here and say otherwise. He's going. We're going to be victorious in that fight. Also, yeah. um, again, we're the challenger. Yeah. And it's really coincidence. Two British titles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're both challenging. Yeah. My light heavyweight Frank Bellioni is challenging Jose Burton. Yeah. Yeah. I believe he would do a number of. Jose Burton. Mm. I think Jose Burton is underestimating Frank Bugliani. Mm. That's that's what will be his downfall. Yeah, absolutely, man. Boy, that should be good. Hey, two of you guys, hopefully you'll be victorious. And Don, thanks very much for the interview. Um, I'm not too sure if I'll go to Manchester, but boy, if not, obviously I, I, I wish you guys um, do very well. Thanks very much, Eric. Thanks very much, man. No problem. Thanks, Don. DJ Boxing Live here. DJ Boxing Live here.